1948, renowned sculptor, star Gideon Kempf, chose a meadow below Mount Cutler to build his house on the road between Seven Falls, the Broadmoor Hotel, and the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. Three major local tourist attractions. Slowly, a secluded neighborhood grew. Some of the homes built by his hands. He fulfilled a vision to create kinetic wind sculptures, elegant, still, or in motion. They harness wind power for artistic beauty and energy. They are designed to move in the softest breeze, yet allow a gale to blow through with no risk, danger, or damage. The neighborhood changed to upscale wealthy conservatives who did not like Kempf or his art. Some were lawyers and they began a harassment of lawsuits based on zoning laws to force Kempf to remove his sculptures. Depressed from the harassment and endless lawsuits, in 1995, Kempf ended his life and committed suicide by gunshot. Suits persisted until the neighbors won and many sculptures were removed. A few remain. Neighbors and lawyers cited a need for peace and quiet in spite of the fact all these people bought homes on the road connecting Seven Falls with the Broadmoor Hotel and Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, three major tourist attractions. Tourist traffic has always been heavy there.
One sculpture was moved downtown near the offices of the lawyers where it stands blocked from wind by surrounding buildings. An interpretive plaque for the curious at Kemp's house was removed due to a hundred dollar per day fine for zoning violations. vision to harness wind for energy was silenced. His conservative neighbors deny climate change. Injustice? You tell me. They believe God will destroy this earth and heaven and create a new one. For who? Those who are poor stewards of the earth? Those who practice greedy prosperity religion and measure God's blessing by wealth? <laughs> 